Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lydia. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we are opening Disney pin mail. Um, my husband and I just got back home from Disney World a couple of weeks ago, and our favorite thing to do in the parks is pin trade. Um, and so we were having a little bit of Disney withdrawals. So um, I have been, I bought one pin, and then the rest have been trades. Um, so I, I've tried taking my glasses off. I'm like a step away from Legally Blonde without my glasses. Um, so y'all may just have to deal with the glare. I'm not going to go put my contacts in just for this video. I'm so sorry. If the glasses and the glare bother you, let me know. Like, does that bother people? As a glasses wearer, it doesn't bother me when I see other creators, um, you know, with their blue light glasses, you know, shining. Um, so now that we've talked about glasses today, we are opening four different packages. Um, I have one more on the way. It was supposed to be here today. I have been waiting and waiting for it. Um, so you're just going to have to go on over to my Instagram. Just a little bit of a shameless plug. I'll put that right down here, uh, my Instagram handle. Um, and I will do that on like a reel or a TikTok or something um, because I just can't wait. These pins, some of these pins have been sitting for like two weeks. Um, so I can't even remember at this point. There's one that I remember um, trading for. So we're going to get into it. Um, our, or my, let me say. My pin collections are Cinderella, um, specifically just Cinderella. Uh, I do have a couple, um, maybe just one actually. I do have a Lucifer pin, but like I'm really trying to stick to just Cinderella. Um, Peter Pan slash Tinkerbell, good with anything from that, um, that movie. Um, but I do love Tinkerbell, sorry. Brain, I see traffic driving, um, a little bit of just distraction. Um, so I do love Tinkerbell specifically, but I also love Peter Pan. Like that is one of my comfort movies along with Cinderella. And then I have a Little Mermaid collection. Um, that one's more broad. Um, I have like a pin collection that I started trading for years and years ago of the sisters. Um, and so there's that. I have some Ursula pins, whatever. So not really like strict and specific on that. Um, and then we collect, um, like resort pins. So when we stay at a new resort, we just buy a pin from that. Um, and I like just like Disney park pins. So, um, nothing really specific there. I have like a monorail pin that we've traded. Um, and just like little stuff like that. Um, and then what is the last one? Oh, Star Wars. Um, we have it right here. This is my husband slash my Star Wars pin collection. He is the one that has collected most of them. Um, but like we have like May the 4th pins that we have collected together. So um, we kind of just call this our collection because we both um, love Star Wars. So um, and then there's the back. <laughs> So, um, this pin is probably my favorite. Um, I bought it off of the pin group that, um, the rest of these pins came from. So, let's set that back. And we are going to get to opening the pins that I've traded and purchased. I'm going to try my best to not show any, like, shipping details. So, um, I thought we had a Sharpie, but we didn't. I think this is the pin that I purchased. Um, this is the only one that I specifically, no, this is not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so he wrapped it up really nicely in bubble wrap. Um, this pin is, I have never seen this pin before. Um, so I was super excited to, oh, I'm so excited. This is so stinking cute. Okay, so if you can see it, there we go. So it is Tinkerbell and the fish when they are flying to Neverland. Um, she almost gets snapped up by a fish. So let me pull this off the backer card that he put it on. Um, that was a cute little backer card. This is not, this may not be like a Disney license pin. I do want to disclaim. Um, scrapper pins don't really bother me um, if they like don't look terrible. Fantasy pins don't bother me. Like, I'm not super, super strict on my pins. If I see, like, a Tinkerbell or a Cinderella or whatever that fits my collection that I like, we're good with it. So, that is that pin. Come on. There we go. So cute. So cute. I love it. Here's the next one. I don't know what is in this. Um, I'm sure it will go with um, one of our collections. I don't think I have any. Okay, yes. 
don't think I have any Star Wars coming. Uh, most are going to be Cinderella and Peter Pan. So the first one we have is this little Cinderella. I have a Little Mermaid um, from this that I got back in 2017. I traded for it in the parks on my senior trip. No, 2019. 2019. Um, and then here is this Tinkerbell. I also think that I traded for um, a blue one of these, and I didn't realize it until after I had made the trades. <laughs> so, here is the next one. I think this one's the one with the blue back. Yep. Okay, that one had... Oh, my gosh. I forgot about this one. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, it's not the same. It's not the same. But it does say where dreams come true. So, here is the blue. It says where dreams come true. That one's really cute. And this one I am so, so, so excited about. It is the Darling Children. Wendy... Michael and what is his name? Wendy Michael. I have for John, right? Wendy, Michael, and John. It's terrible. I just watched this movie too. But look at them. I don't think that these are like a park pen because this is what the back looks like. Again, like I said, I don't really care. Because it's cute. And, like, that is a good-looking pen to me. Again, I'm not a pen professional. Um, I just like to trade for them and buy them. <laughs> so, um, and here is our last one. This one, I think, has the most so far. It is entirely possible. This video will not go up probably for a little bit. Um, because I have my whole entire Disney series. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it. I think it's up here. Or up here. I don't remember. I think it may be up here. Um, but I'll link that playlist above. I also have trips. Um, I think I have three other trips on top of the trip we just took. Um, but it is entirely possible that when I get my next um, pin mail in, that I will just sit down and do another clip. Um, it is Memorial Day weekend, so I had time to sit down and do it and open pins. Um, so you may see the rest of them because we are only nine minutes in. This has not been a long video whatsoever. So, um, Let's get into these next few. Okay, yes, these are all Cinderella pins, which I'm super excited about. Okay, so here are the last three that um, I picked up. Um, they are all three Cinderella, and I think that they are all box lunch. I think that that is what I have determined all of these pins are that are not, like, Disney Park pins. So, we have this. I think this is a part of a series I've seen. Um, a few of them that are the princesses with like these clear backgrounds. Very cute. Is like a nice sized pin with the flowers and the birds. And she just looks so cute. Very cute. And I like that it has like that like see-through background. Very pretty. Very pretty. The next one is a part of a set um, that I will not be collecting. Like I just really don't care that much to spend that money on it um but it is there we go cinderella in her carriage very very cute love it she looks so good this is such a good looking pin and it is pretty big again um and last but not least another cindy pin um this is her. This is also a set. Um, I have seen multiple different ones of these. Um, but it has just that little clock. Come on, focus. has that little clock. And then her, again, it looks like she's in her carriage in her blue dress. Um, very cute. The other pins that I have out in the mail um, are two Tinkerbell pins and I think three Cinderella pins. Maybe three Tink and two Cinderella, but I have five more pins coming in. Um, so, one of these, um, there was only one that I had purchased, and it was this. And 
she was five dollars not bad I do not spend lots of money on pens that's just not who I am um so very cute I think this is um box lunch I think the majority of these are box lunch actually um this is a Disney um licensed pen like not licensed but a Disney park pen and then um both of the if I can find the other one <laughs> Both of these pins are Disney Park pins um, from, what does it say? That is it for this round. Maybe I'll come back and share again, or I will just share over on my Instagram. I'll decide this may be just a short little video. Um, if you like this, if you like little pin mail magic mail un unboxing, unbaggings, whatever you want to call it, let me know down below in the comments because I really enjoy doing the pin stuff. This is not the first time I have um, pin traded. Well, this is the first time I have pin traded online. This is not the first time that I have purchased pins online. I can link down below the Facebook group that I'm in to do all of this. Um, so, you can find some fairly inexpensive pins, and there are such strict rules on, you know, what you can trade, what you can sell, all of that. Um, and so, I have been lucky to not get scammed or anything like that so far. But um, if you like this, let me down on, let me know down in the comments so I can do it again because I've thoroughly enjoyed the trading process and finding people that um, were interested in the things that I had, um, and I was obviously interested in the the pins that they have. Um, so. Let me know and maybe we can have some more pin mail videos. But if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.